So this is Ed Sheeran's guitar. Yeah. Um, and you make this for him personally? Yes, myself and my two sons and a, a couple of my really great craftsmen helped me as well. Um, right. And, you know, this is one that Ed uh, ordered a couple of years ago and, and I, I just decided we better, we better really, really <laughs> push the boat out and get it made. So, so it's, it's, um, it's our new Master Series guitar, so this one has Alpine Spruce. And this is a, a step above the 50s series, isn't it? Yeah, so this is, I mean, is the, the standard the, yeah, soft we're, bed model. Yes, and, and we're only going to make probably 20 or 25 a year, something like that. So wow. this, this one has uh, Alpine Spruce top. It has a Larry Robinson uh, miniature butterfly inlay that we do ourselves in the workshop. And this is my own logo that I've been using for years. Yeah. I saw that earlier. That's, yeah. that's great. So that yeah. is the, uh, the L there. Yeah, that's right. And this is, in this case, this is a Master Series Brazilian Rose. Wow. It's almost impossible uh, to get that these so days. So this is very rare then in terms of the wood specs. Very, very and the level very, of craftsmanship yeah, as well. So exactly, this is, exactly. This is the, the top end output for, for <laughs> yeah, Alan guitars. It is, it is, absolutely. And, you know, you can't, um, you can't make even a hundred guitars a year at this sort of level. It's, it's way too time consuming and you know, the detail that goes into it is, yeah, very special. I can special. imagine. How yeah. many hours do you think it would take, you know, once? So it used to, it used to take me personally um, in the order of 50 to 60 hours. Yeah, so it's a, it's a good amount of time uh, spent per, on one instrument. Per, per guitar, yeah. yeah. Which and is not, not sustainable for making Production guitars. No, not really. Is. Not <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Even even the fifty series, you know, takes us about forty hours oh, per wow, guitar. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So much inlay work. Well, and yes, and, and and making sure the wood is is really master grade and all that. Yeah. So in the factory, you have um, I assume wood piles where you have different series wood yes, piles. Yes, exactly. So the more you spend, the better examples you can yes, get. Yes. Generally yeah, yeah. Yeah. Generally speaking, and I mean. Uh, you always have to remember that every guitar, whether it's a Master Series or whether it's a 50 or a 35 or an Original Series, um, it takes time, you know, to, to really develop and the more you play it, the better it'll get. So yes. the same thing goes for uh, whether it's the very top end of what we do or, or the, the, the entry level. And you, you recently, I would say recently, it's, it's been a few years now, the, um, you and Ed Sheeran have brought out the, the Sheeran Series. Uh, yes, yes. I mean, Ed came to see me, um, oh, about six years ago down to the factory, and that was the beginning of a kind of relationship with him. And then I, I, you know, he came back to me about three years ago and asked me would I consider putting together a new facility to make uh, acoustic guitars that were more affordable for, for young people. And, uh, and, and they've been very popular. Yes, we're, we're doing very well with them. Um, of course, now that he's starting touring again next year, it'll it'll make them even more <laughs> popular. <laughs> Often happens. Yeah, I mean, normally guitars of that price, you know, between sort of six hundred and a thousand, uh, normally they're made in China or Mexico, perhaps. Yes, and you make them in Ireland. Uh, but don't you? make them in Ireland, and that's a, a real challenge. <laughs> yeah, um, I can imagine. Yeah, but it's it's in the same uh, facility, so. Um, so it means that I, myself, and my sons and, and our, our supervisors that we know very well are able to look after it. So you can fully control the yeah. quality that's coming yeah, out. Exactly. And make yeah. sure you can put your stamp on it. Yeah. You yeah. haven't got to then get something from the Far East in. Exactly. And then check that. Well, that's, that's the issue that, I mean, the easy way to do it would be to go to the Far East or go to Mexico or Spain or somewhere and get it made for us and then bring them in, check them over and send them out. But. Um, you know, the reality is the quality would just would not be the same. Yeah, you know? yeah. We, we've we've had the Shearing uh, Shearing series in here, and they've been brilliant. Oh, good. So, okay. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, yeah. they no, they're great guitars and uh, very popular. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Well, I mean, I, I think that they're going to get more popular. So uh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to yeah. tell Derek to order some. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. Oh, yeah. this has been a real pleasure. It's a great looking guitar. Brilliant, thank sure you. Red's going to be happy. It's been a pleasure for me too to come here and see your, your shop. I, I, I didn't know what to expect. I, I really thought in my mind it would be some big industrial sort of <laughs> hangar that was full of guitars, but actually it's so, it's so nice. It reminds me of another shop in Washington that has the same thing, lots of rooms with individual guitars. I mean, it's fantastic. The thing with the old building is you can't just go, like with an industrial estate, here's our warehouse, it's too small. Mm. We'll extend on it, or we'll rent. You know, we'll lease another one that's bigger mm. as the company builds. So we have to work within this and just 
I think it's perfect the way it is. It has the right kind of atmosphere. So yeah. Oh, very good. Thank you very much. Very good. How thank you very Jack? much. Yeah, 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 that was absolutely so brilliant. Thank okay. You very much appreciate that. Oh, let me no problem. Yeah. Thank you.